Well, the attempted assassination of House Majority Whip Steve Scalise and other Republican members of Congress was carried out by a man called James Hodgkinson. He was a deranged Bernie Sanders fan who may have been egged on by violently hyperbolic anti-Trump rhetoric he heard on the left. And yet, according to a Seattle radio show host, Dave Ross, Hodgkinson may also have been motivated by a conservative understanding of the Constitution, believing his assassination attempt was a constitutionally protected use of violence to resist tyranny. There's a theory for you. Dave Ross joins us tonight to explain. So, Dave, it seems to me like here's a guy who said exactly why he did what he did, pretty clearly, mm -hmm. and yet you're blaming the country and the Constitution for what he did. Not at all, no. When I saw that he was being described as a left-wing uh, terrorist, essentially, I wanted to find out what motivated him to actually use a gun to carry that out. You are allowed to hate the government if you want to. Where I draw the line, of course, is using violence against it. And it brought to mind the militia story, which used to be a big topic years ago, right? This idea that the Second Amendment is the last extreme protection against a tyrannical government. So I did some searching around to see if that was still pretty current. I noticed that Ted Cruz himself, not too long ago, had talked about the Second Amendment in just that way. And I said, well, it would be worth illustrating that this is what that looks like if that were to be carried out. Did he actually say that? Did he actually use that as justification? Oh. He's dead. I don't know. No, see, what, this is very much like Lee Harvey Oswald, who defected to the Soviet Union, was a self-described communist, murders the president, and somehow the right is to blame mm. for it. Hate in Dallas. This guy was. Tucker, I don't think the, the right is to blame for this. Well, sure. The in the aftermath to blame for of this. the Kennedy assassination, of course, it was. This is about hate. No, the guy was an avowed communist. This guy uh -huh. was. Uh, this guy was an avowed Bernie volunteer. But and that's not what this was is about. All spun up about what do you think? Politics. What do you think the purpose of the Second Amendment is? Well, what is your own opinion of the Second Amendment? Is it just for target practice or hunting? I think that the purpose of the Second Amendment has no bearing on what Hodgkinson did. I think we know pretty no, I know. much but I'm why saying, he did what, does what it he look did like in practice? because he said so. That's why. And if, and right. if you're suggesting I mean, that, you this were... is, that he believed he was overthrowing tyranny, I mean, the truth is the Constitution says you know, you, you need to take a judicious view of this. I mean, th th there was no tyranny. There is no tyranny at work that this guy was responding to. I mean, that's just silly. Well, yes, I f you feel that way. I feel that way. But how do you define tyranny? If you look in some of the darker corners of the Internet, there are people who think we are under tyranny. They thought they were under, we were under tyranny when Barack Obama was president. I believe when you were on with uh, Alex Jones last year, you refer to the Second Amendment as so it's you're an extreme saying, case, so it's you're a last blaming, resort. You're but blaming you the Second that. Amendment for this. With this guy. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying this is what, if the Second Amendment were used in the way that you've talked about, that Ted Cruz has talked about, this is what it would oh, look like. And it's I love this. This is very, this is very clever. So crazy MSNBC viewers shoots a bunch of. Republicans and somehow it's the Are fault. Are you blaming of the right. MSNBC? Are of you blaming, blaming MSNBC of for what happened? Needless to say, I'm not blaming well, why MSNBC. Why would you say? Why because would you, I'm, why I'm you point really, out that aspect I'm of his I'm saying that this guy's politics were really clear, and they they motivated uh -huh. him to act in the way he did, and yet somehow right. you're spinning it as if it's the fault of conservatives. And I'm saying that's wily, but it's also ludicrous. Well, you keep and saying that. I don't think it's the fault of conservatives, though. I'm telling you, I don't think it's the fault of conservatives. Uh, if you're going to choose how to categorize him, he was also, I suppose, a legal gun owner. So should we blame legal gun ownership for this? Yeah. This is like when a jihadi shoots up a gay club and calls 911 uh -huh. to say he's waging jihad, and people are like, I don't know why he did it. I don't know why he did it. He did it, did it for the reasons he said he did it. I mean, this guy well, has you, you a don't long every... trail online saying, I'm mad at the president. I think the you know, president's a fascist. I hate Republicans right. are taking away health care. And then he's right. found with a, a list of six Republican members in his pocket. I'm not blaming right. all liberals for this, but I'm saying that this guy's specific brand of politics spurred him to do what he did. And you're trying to spread the blame around to people who do, don't deserve any of the blame. That's no, the I'm not spreading the blame around. I'm pointing out that the Constitution, the Second Amendment, has been interpreted as a last resort to go up against a tyrannical government. Who decides when it's tyrannical? Search around the internet. Is this the only guy who said things like uh, Trump is a traitor? No, it's all over the place. Yeah. And what I'm saying is I want to put the kibosh on this idea that we use the Second Amendment 
to somehow defend ourselves against a tyrannical government. In a democracy, if we have free and fair voting, there's never an excuse to use military force against the government. Okay. Nobody is making the case for violence against the government now. Good. Except a pretty small group of radicals on the left. That's what I see. I see it everywhere. People justifying Not the shooting of Steve Scalise. True. Wait, are you kidding? The professor last Google week militia. at Trinity College in, in <laughs> Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, I, you know, they should have let him die, yeah. et cetera. So you're, you're seeing this, an MSNBC host. Well, how should we feel? Steve Scalise was a, was a conservative. I have mixed feelings about this. I mean, there are a number of people on the left, we've done it repeatedly on this show, well, have basically I, made excuses I disagree for with violence. Them, then. Well, good for you. There are no excuses for violence, right. Not okay. in a democracy, no. Yeah. So I wouldn't say that this had anything to do with the Second Amendment, and I would bet you money that if Hodgkinson were alive to answer questions, his views on the Second Amendment would be the same as the views of most liberals, which is it's not real, it's the one part of the Bill of Rights I get to ignore. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you're trying to paint him as some sort of Second Amendment supporter when he seemed to me a garden-variety liberal. Mm, well, no, maybe I just didn't use the proper language in my piece, but the idea is to point out that when people who call upon the Second Amendment as the last resort against a tyrannical government, when they say it is useful in this day and age in that way, this is what that would look like. Because yeah, no, when you're talking about going not, up against not, the government... It's not what with, this would look like, because there is no, no... Well, of course not, because Steve Scalise was not, you know, a despot trying to control the life of Hodgkinson. I mean, that's mm -hmm. absurd. And so, well, nice yes. try. Well, yes. I mean, I, I, yeah. I agree going up against your leaders is absurd. But I'm telling you, and I think you know this, that you will find plenty of sites on the Internet that believe yeah. in that interpretation of the Second Amendment. Yeah, it's the conservatives' fault. I got it, Dave. Pretty nice try. No. A pro-life group.